All right, so we're back again. We're gonna do another cook video here with Lone Star Grills. Uh, today's video is gonna be chicken wings. I know that's a simple thing, but what we're trying to do here today is to, to show how we can use our main chamber grill grate, which is an accessory for all of our offset smokers, that we can turn our offset smoker into a charcoal grill. All of our offset smokers, they come with the grill grate on top of the firebox, but this is, um, this is something more. This is when you want to grill more than just on top of the firebox. This allows you to take whatever size main chamber smoker you've got and turn it into a charcoal grill. So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate the chicken wings today. So what we've got here, uh, we've got a few simple things. We've, we've done a simple rub. Uh, this is basically salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and uh, smoked paprika. Uh, this particular rub, we use approximately a quarter cup of kosher salt, probably two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of onion powder, and about the same of black pepper, and about one tablespoon of paprika, smoked paprika. So we've got here today about eight pounds of drum uh, of wings. That's the drum and the winglet together. I've gone and I've chopped off the uh, wing tips on all of these. I cook them whole. I always cook them whole. Sometimes when I'm done, I will take them and I'll separate the winglet from the drums. And uh, sometimes I'll leave them whole. Tomorrow when we cook these, we'll probably leave them whole. We've also got a uh, sauce here that we're going to finish with at the end. I'll show you here what we've got. We started out, this is just, a, this is classic. We've uh, done a little twist on it. I've done a million different wing sauces, you know, everything you can imagine, but this is classic. Uh, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. This is, uh, I'm doing a big batch here, so we obviously got a big bottle. Um, so this is gonna be kind of scaled up. If you're doing this for a smaller batch, you can scale it back down. But one whole bottle of, uh, this is uh, 32 ounces. We've done about a cup of honey. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do a play on the sweet and heat. Done about a cup of honey here. Quarter cup of red wine vinegar. Probably two to three tablespoons and you can up or down that to your preference on the cayenne pepper. But we're gonna add a little heat to the, red, uh, the Frank's Red Hot Sauce. And then one whole stick of butter. Uh, if I was doing this with a smaller bottle, a smaller batch, I'd use a uh, half a stick of butter. <laughs> this simmered on the stove for just probably 30 minutes, just at a simmer, melt the butter, incorporate all the ingredients, bring it all together. What we'll do, we'll refrigerate this and this will come back into the plate tomorrow and you'll see how we finish. Uh, the uh, wings here, I don't have any, this is a rub, but as you notice, there's no sugar. Uh, this is gonna be grilled at a higher heat. The sugar will brown, or will burn actually, at a higher heat. Our sugar is gonna come in at the end and caramelize on our finishing sauce. So we don't have any, uh, we don't have any sugar here in our rub. And because it's really heavily salted, we're not gonna hit this real hard. We're gonna gradually season this on both sides. And we're gonna refrigerate this overnight, let it sit. Gonna kinda go through that dry browning process that we did on our steaks. That salt, those seasonings will be pulled into those wings. That way that seasoning penetrates all the way in. I'll flip these here in a minute. I'll season both sides, just like we did on this one. Tomorrow, we'll show you how we set up the grill We'll show you how we grill them, and uh, we'll check back with you in the morning. All right, so we're back. Today's uh, the following day. We've got our chicken that we've uh, let set all night. Uh, and here we are gonna demonstrate our main chamber grilling grate. So this is the main chamber grilling grate for our 20 inch series pits. This is a two piece grill grate. We've got a, a removable piece of expanded, that expanded metal. Let's air up underneath the charcoal. We've got built-in handles. 
When you're done, remove the expanded. This becomes its own ash pan. You'll dump out the ash when you're done. I've got another one set inside here. So this is our 30 inch uh, offset smoker, our 20 by 30. Uh, we've got our charcoal going in here. I've removed my bottom grate. We're gonna grill up on the top grate here today. Uh, so again, that sits down in there. This is an add-on accessory that turns your whole main chamber into a charcoal grill. Again, we do have our charcoal grill that comes standard on our offset smokers. Uh, but this is an accessory for those times when you just need that uh, extra space to grill. Uh, we also have the same accessory uh, for our 24 inch smokers. It's a little bit different apparatus. That grate slides out through the firebox. But the same principle, we can turn our main chamber on our smokers into a charcoal grill. So we're going to go ahead and get this chicken going. Again, this sat out all night with our uh, rub, or sat up all night in the fridge. We're gonna go ahead and get these on. You can also, so I've just got lump charcoal in here today. There's also no reason why you can't use chunks of wood and charcoal uh, together. You want that wood flavor. Uh, I also am using the top of the firebox here today to heat up my sauce, the sauce that we made uh, last night. So I'm warming that up on the firebox lid there and I've also thrown a couple pieces of lump charcoal down in there as well to help get us, um, to, to help heat up that grate there. That main chamber is really great. So we're gonna get these on. We're gonna let these go. We'll flip them once while we while we uh, are cooking them. We're gonna get them almost all the way finished and then we'll come back and uh, we'll put the sauce on. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes or so since we first put these on. Uh, kind of show you here what we got going on. Uh, first, we're heating up our sauce again on top of the firebox. I've taken and uh, got a small fire going in here, a few pieces of lump charcoal and one stick of wood. Stick of wood just to uh, give a kiss of smoke flavor in here without having a big wood fire going on here. Uh, like I say, these have been going for about 30 minutes or so. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flip them. That way we can get uh, some crispy skin on the back side there or on the top side. We're gonna flip all these. We'll come back in a few minutes after we let this go another 15, 20 minutes and we'll show you what we're gonna do with our sauce. Right. Okay, so we've gone on the second side now for another 10, 15 minutes or so. So we're good. We've got this sauce that we've warmed up that we made last night. Uh, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this in uh, two steps. So first, we're gonna dunk all these. Uh, if I do smaller batches, I can use a small bowl and I'll toss it in the sauce. So basically, I'm gonna get these coated. We're gonna put it back on for just a couple of minutes to set this sauce. So we're gonna let that sauce go back on the grill for just a couple of minutes. Then we will dunk it and serve it. Uh, we'll dunk it one last time before we serve it here in just a second. We'll come back and show you how we finish them up here in just a second. Okay, so five minutes later, we've let that sauce set. So what I'm gonna do to finish these in this uh, sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and dip them one more time. We're gonna go ahead and plate them in this pan. Once I have all of these off, all of them in the pan, I'll cover this pan in foil and let them rest for about five minutes just to uh, let those juices redistribute. It's always best to let the food rest. Uh, different times, depending on how big it is, like this will only rest for a couple of minutes, like we've talked about before. Now, big cuts of meat might rest for an hour or two. Uh, so we'll come back once we got them all off of here and uh, check in one last time. All right, so we've let these rest for about five, 10 minutes or so. Here's our finished product. This is what uh, we're gonna serve from. I've plated a few up here to show you. Like I said last uh, uh, earlier in the video, uh, I'm serving these whole today. Sometimes I will cut them after I've cooked them, but I always cook them whole. I think it's easier to do that way. Uh, also, I think it uh, yields a better product. I don't think they dry out as much. But, but what I really want to focus on is that this video is so much more about uh, chicken wings. Um, 
we've walked you through how to grill the chicken wings and the recipe and all that, but really what I want to focus on is the, the versatility of our product here. Again, this is a 20 by 30. This video was about using the main chamber grill and grate. Uh, what you can see here, we still got some coals in there going. Once this dies down, we'll grab that by the two handles. We'll be able to easily clean this out. That's what Lone Star Grills is about. We're about quality. We're about versatility and value. We provide the best value, the best versatility out there. Uh, for more information on these and our other products, check out our website. There'll be a link to our website at the end of this video uh, so you can get more information on our products. Uh, and thanks again. Please subscribe to our YouTube page uh, and see what we're going to cook next.